Hello and welcome to today's video. It's going to be a huge freezer meal prep day. Uh, I have plans to do 22 different meals. If you're new, thanks for clicking on this video. If you're not new, thanks for clicking on this video as well. But if you're not subscribed, I would appreciate you considering subscribing and being part of my YouTube community. I make motherhood and money saving type of videos. So just click that subscribe button maybe if you want. It would be awesome if you did. All right, so I wanted to go ahead and make all these freezer meals for lots of different reasons. I'm 20 weeks pregnant. We have three children already, and I work part-time out of the home, some from home, and my husband works full-time as um, his own construction business. So we are very, very busy, and we like to eat healthy meals and meals at home so that we can save money and we don't have to go get takeout all the time. So a lot of times it is really hard to think of meals for one every single week for every single day. Um, but cooking them as well, so just having these freezer meals in the house will help us be able to eat at home even more and help us save money and eat a little bit healthier. The meals that I am going to be cooking prepping today are Tuscan chicken pasta and I have done this as a freezer meal before. It's very very good. I'm gonna do two batches of this recipe which will make four meals. I'm going to do two different marinated chickens and um, I'm gonna do two recipes of each so that will be four marinated chickens. I'm going to do meatloaf and freeze that and that will be four that I'll be doing of that. Chicken and shrimp fried rice, I'm doing four of those. Uh, tortellini soup which I have never frozen before but we have eaten it a lot in the past and I'm going to be doing all the ingredients and I'll explain this when I get to that one. All the ingredients except for the tortellini and I'll just keep that in my pantry because I have some dried tortellini and I will put that in when I am warming up the soup to actually eat it for that day. So that'll be four. I'm going to do enchiladas and I've never tried this one before so I'm going to only be doing one recipe which will make two pans of this. So some of these are complete meals and some of them are just a meat. So we like to have their meat with our vegetables. So I am also going to be trying my hand at freezing some fresh vegetables that I'm going to be prepping. I do have some already in the freezer that we bought pre-made and they're like seasoned and stuff. Um, but I wanted to try some out for ourselves and see if we can just freeze some fresh and then you know when I start my garden this next year then I can also freeze some vegetables that we get in that. Things that I have already gotten ready so I made sure the kitchen is clean and all of the dishes are done. There's nothing in the sink and the dishwasher is dirty so I can throw stuff in there. So all of that is prepped and ready. And then I do have a couple of different stations as you can see around where I have separated out the ingredients for a few of the meals. This is not all of the ingredients quite yet because I want, I do have a small kitchen and I don't have a lot of space, a lot of counter space or even table space. So I'm going to be doing the first few and then tidying up and then getting the stuff out for the next few. So this may be some today, some tomorrow. I'll let you know at the end how long it took me to prep all of these total hours wise. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get it started. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the easy one, just the marinated chicken. And I will link all of these recipes in the description box below. So 
This one, I there's a seven marinated chicken recipes on this card. Um, but I am going to do honey Dijon chicken marinade and then a balsamic herb chicken marinade. So yummy, yummy. And then I've got my handy dandy new food saver that I am going to use today. Okay, I'm going to make my freezer bags. Let's see. one bag okay so I just made all of my bags so I sealed the bottom of them and cut off the length that I wanted for four bags and I went ahead and prepped all of the chicken so I have about a pound and a half each in this bag in each of the bags I cut off all of the big fat and I actually cut them more into like tenders um, we just prefer it that way. I don't like the big, huge chicken breasts. So I've got all four of those prepared and now I'm going to make the marinades. So I'm going to start with the honey Dijon. So it is olive oil and I'm going to be doing two recipes of this and then apple cider vinegar and then honey. And this is my Georgia honey, Dijon mustard, and then salt. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to pour half in two of my bags, half each in two bags. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to, I mean, it's pretty liquidy, so it's not, I mean, I think it's going to do really well. Um, and then, of course, when I freeze this, um, when I'm ready to cook it, I will take it out of the freezer the night before and let it thaw in the fridge. And then as it's thawing, it'll, you know, continue to marinate in that sauce as well. So I am going to go ahead and vacuum seal both of these. All right, so I think I did something wrong the first time. I'm learning, learning. Anyways, and it takes a little bit of time, so I think while this is vacuum sealing um, these two, I'm going to go ahead and prep the marinade for these other two, and that's the balsamic herb, and it's olive oil, balsamic vinegar, honey, Dijon mustard, uh, garlic cloves, and then some dried, uh, spices, parsley, basil, oregano, salt, and pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and do that while this goes. I'm going to label and date it. Okay, so I have all four um, chicken marinades done. I'm gonna put these in the freezer and then I'm gonna get started on the meatloaf. I'm going to start putting all the ingredients in. Oh, I gotta take off my rings. To mix this meatloaf by hand. So put all the ingredients in mix it and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to form it into four different loaves and put it on aluminum foil and then put that in the freezer. So I'll show you once I have those formed.
Okay, so I formed four loaves and I'm gonna go put this in the freezer for these to freeze and then I'll put them in bags. Okay, now my meatloaf I think is frozen enough to where I'm gonna take it off, put it in a bag and vacuum seal it. I have seen, if you don't have a vacuum sealer, that you can wrap it in freezer paper and then put it just in, you know, a freezer Ziploc bag. So there's that option as well. Okay, so now we're moving on to the beef enchiladas. I already cooked the ground beef and drained all the grease. And now I'm going to add my water and my taco seasoning. I don't, I've been trying out a few different kinds. I don't really have one that I super, super love. Um, I'm gonna cook this and then add the refried beans. All right, so I don't think the recipe calls for this, um, but I always like to put just a tiny bit of enchilada sauce on the bottom of the pan and kind of spoon it around. I feel like it helps the enchiladas not stick as well after you cook them. Okay, now I'm just going to spoon the mixture into the tortillas and put them down and then top it with enchilada sauce and cheese. we're doing the tortellini soup so I've already cooked in the ground sausage and then in that pot over there is my chicken broth with the cream cheese already melted and then so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try out one bag first I'm going to put because uh, I'm going to do this into four different bags I'm going to put a fourth of the uh, ground sausage a fourth of that liquid one of this canned drained and then a good amount of spinach and like i mentioned before i'm going to keep the tortellini out and when um, i get um okay. when i thaw this in the fridge the night before okay. then when i put it in the pot to cook i will also okay. put the tortellini i'll probably put maybe like a three-fourths of this bag yeah. just however much i think i want so i'm gonna go ahead and put that in the bag Mom. and seal it up So the next recipe we are going to do is some chicken and shrimp fried rice and I have done a lot of prepping already for this recipe. 
I've already cooked eight cups of rice in my rice cooker and I've cooked and chopped a bunch of chicken. Some of this chicken will be for my next recipe and I have washed and chopped carrots already. So all of that stuff is ready to go. All I have to do is mix up the stuff, do the fried rice, and then mix everything in. Okay, so for the sauce that I'm going to put on the rice, we're gonna use some soy sauce. And I might add more in there, just depending on how much it coats, coats the rice. But then we're gonna do sesame oil, ground ginger. I'm gonna mix this together and I just realized that I forgot to my garlic cloves. So hang on. Okay, so now I'm ready to cook my rice and fry it up. So we're just gonna add oil. All right, after the oil's heated, then I'm gonna add all of my rice. Whoa. <laughs> And then I'm gonna add the sauce. And I might have to add a little bit more, depending on how much it coats it, so we'll see. It's actually coating it quite well, so I don't think I'll have to add any more sauce. And I'm not worried about getting it all like really fried. Um, because whenever I thaw it, we'll be refrying it, and so we'll get it nice and good when we do that. And you obviously do not need to make this big of a batch. I'm thinking this will make four dinners for my family of five. Um, but I don't know, this looks like a lot of rice, and I have some add-ins to add in. So we'll see, it may make a few like lunches as well. Um, but I got these salad shrimps and I'm not worried about they thawed a little bit But I'm not worried about actually like cooking them in because again when we thaw it and cook it um, Then Then they'll get warmed up then I Did quite a bit of shrimp, so I'm not gonna do as much chicken as I did of shrimp um, But I want to put some chicken in there and then I've got my carrots, and I think this is six uh, large carrots. And then I've just got a bag, one pound bag of frozen corn I'm gonna put in, and this is still frozen. Woo, this is gonna be lots of vegetables in there, isn't it? Because I also have one, one more thing to add. It's getting a little difficult to stir. Oh my goodness. And then I'm also adding one pound of baby lima beans. And I think after I dump these in, I'm going to have to put switch some over to a big bowl to stir some in there. to add some eggs I think maybe I'll just do that if I feel like it um, when we're actually cooking it okay Phew. that was a lot of work um, but I did get my four meal portions out of it and then I got this smaller maybe like lunch portion for a couple of us so I'm gonna go ahead and mark these okay so one big problem about having a small kitchen and not a lot of counter space is I have to do a lot of cleaning if there's a lot of mess. So cleaned up from the last one and I've prepped for the next meal, which is the Tuscan pasta. I already have the pasta cooking right now. I, like I said, I had already made the chicken Previously, I have 
washed and drained the sun-dried tomatoes and I have got all my ingredients out and minced the garlic. So now we're gonna make the sauce. This one's pretty simple. Um, basically you just have the pasta, add the sauce and the chicken. So the sauce is the hardest part of this. So we've got our butter and I am making double of this recipe which will make me four pans of this. And I'm adding my garlic and I'm gonna let that cook for a couple minutes. We have dried basil. Now I I've been ha I've had this cream cheese sitting out um, open on the countertop for since I started prepping everything, and now I'm just putting it into cubes. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure where it cut off, but I added um, the sun-dried tomatoes after the cream cheese was done. And then I added all of my milk and I'm whisking that now. I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker. Okay, it's all combined, so now I'm going to add the salt and pepper and Parmesan cheese. Yep, I'm dumping it all in. So I'm just gonna make sure all the chunks of the Parmesan cheese are out and get the sauce just a little bit thicker. Consistency that I want it. So now this one's pretty easy and now all I have to do is get my freezer tinfoil freezer pans and do the noodles, sauce, and chicken. And you could leave the chicken on top, but I like to mix it all together. I feel like it reheats a little bit better when the chicken is also mixed in. And I'm going to do the same thing before as foil, label it, and then do plastic wrap. So some recipes that I don't remember what to do with, like when I take it out of the freezer, or if I have to thaw it ahead of time, what temperature to cook it on, how long, I will actually write those straight onto the foil so it's super, super easy for me. And here's all the freezer peels. Ah, oh, I am so happy with how everything turned out. We have meatloaves, there's the other two. We have our fried rice, chicken and shrimp. We have our tortellini soup. We have our marinated chicken there and there. These are the beef enchiladas. And then these are the Tuscan chicken pastas. <sighs> Whew. That was a lot of cooking. So it took me about five hours and that's five hours I have three kids that I'm on and off doing stuff for my husband's home some of the time to help with them but 
that's five hours cooking my 22 meals plus that one lunch. I did decide not to go ahead and um, blanch, I think that's what you call it, the vegetables and put them in freezer bags just because I did <clears throat> overestimate the amount of space that I have in the two freezers that I have. Like we have like the bottom half of this one and then the top half of a run downstairs. So they are slap full. So I am, the vegetables are going to last this week. So I am going to use up a few of our dinners this week as we're going throughout our busy, busy week. And then once I have a little bit more space in the freezer, then I will, and I'll use the vegetables as we go throughout the week as well. And then once I have um, some more space in our freezer, I will prepare the rest of them for freezing. Maybe in my next freezer meal video, I will actually show the process of that. I'll try it out this first time and then I'll show y'all for the next time. But that was a lot of work. I mean, it feels really, really good to have a lot of meals in the freezer ready to go for our busy family. But I wanted to share with you the amount of money that I spent on all of the meals. So keep in mind, I didn't have to buy any new spices and I had some of the sauces. Some of the sauces I did have to buy new and then I'll have those for like the next time. So I think it all kind of evens out. <clears throat> But at the three stores that I went to, Sam's, Costco, and then our um, Ingalls, here's a grocery store, I spent, including tax, $203.02 on all of the ingredients for these meals. And that includes all of the vegetables as well that I'll be using throughout this week and then freezing the rest of them, plus the two frozen bags that I got of like just vegetables to keep frozen and ready on hand. So taking into account 22 meals, that's $9.23 per meal. And for me and our family of five, that is really, really good to keep our meals um, under $10 is really what we aim for. Um, I mean, groceries have gotten more expensive, I think, when I've done freezer meals in the past. Then I have actually been able to spend quite a bit less than that, maybe around six, seven dollars at times on meals just because the cost of things has increased. But to keep that under ten dollars, really, really good in my book. Well, I hope you liked today's videos and maybe you'll try out some of the freezer meal recipes that I have. Like I said, I will link all of them in the description box below or type up a quick recipe if they're just ones that I have made up or um, gotten from family along the years. I really appreciate you watching and being here. Don't forget, if you aren't subscribed, I would appreciate you subscribing. And I will see y'all in the next video.